So I'm going to go over a how to wire a battery to charge from your tow vehicle through your 7 pin connector. Um, this isn't how to set up your vehicle to charge the trailer, but this is how to set up the trailer to be charged from a vehicle that sends power back. So, um, put this here. So, in this plug, obviously you have a group of wires, you have seven pins. Um, this upper right one here, so this, obviously looking at the connector, here's your little tab, usually goes up or whichever direction. It, go, it, it locks into the, locks into the cap. So, this upper right one here, this one is going to be your power. Um, is it the upper right one? Probably like that. It's this guy. Alright, so it's the upper left. Disregard that. The upper left one, this is going to be your power. It's going to be, it should be a black wire, so this will be a 12 volt power. And this one down here is your ground. It should be... A white wire. So, like that. So if you're looking at the at the plug, it's going to be your one o'clock or upper right position is the power, and then the opposite lower lower uh, lower left is going to be your your ground so that's what's supposed to be on the, the wire um, let's go to the vehicle and I'll show you in there so it's a little bit easier to see so we got in here is the plugs or the terminals um, this one down here on the left is your ground and this upper right one is your 12 volt power so, that's that. So now what you want to do is, um, I guess it depends on how your trailer is wired up. This one has one of those little, little boxes in it. Uh, it's just like this. So in there you've got all your seven wires on, um, on studs. So you're going to look for the white one. And the black one. Uh, I don't know which stud they're on. You'll see it when you look in there. Um, so if it were me doing it, I would match up the colors. And then I would come into the plug. And I would use a, a multimeter to check for continuity between here and whichever wire to verify that the black wire is the power one. And here on the bottom and verify that the white wire is the ground before I were to hook anything up. Uh, if you don't have that style, then you'd have to find where, where your wires terminate or where they lead to and then splice into those. But that's how you verify which wire is which by continuity checking that. Um, so you might not have a box. You might just have like a nut on the frame or something. Something like that with just like a ground wire on it, which isn't nothing wrong with that. You would just use a ring terminal and some wiring. Uh, you want to use, I guess I'd recommend a 10 gauge wire. Uh, my tow vehicle does not supply a 10 gauge wire. So, but that's the recommendations I've seen is that you generally want to run it with a 10 gauge wire. So like, let's say you have a stud like that. You just run a ring terminal with a 10 gauge wire and you're going to run that right to your battery. Negative side um, so now it's positive you're gonna run it to either the wiring where it ends off of your your trailer plug here or you're gonna go into that box if you have that box with the seven pins in it and then you would run the 10 gauge wire off of the black wire that's in the box or off or off of the wire that comes off the harness plug here 
and then you're going to run it up to uh, this has got a 20 amp breaker in it uh, you could supply whichever breaker you have I don't know it depends on how many batteries you have and what you're going to be supplying um, my vehicle doesn't really put a ton of amperage back because it really only gives like seven or eight amps so I mean I, I think probably 20 amp or 40 amp would be perfectly fine and then you would run that to your positive side of your battery and that's about all it's necessary to uh wire your trailer up to charge from your tow vehicle uh just make sure your trailer i know i don't know if some campers or travel trailers have uh different voltage systems in them uh, I, I imagine they're all 12 volt but um if you've got a 12 volt system this is how you'd set it up to charge uh from your tow vehicle so all right hope that can help somebody uh if not let me know what i did wrong and uh help some other people out in the comments and uh i thank you for watching